Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe for those who are new and before we get started I want to give a special thanks to the EA Creator Network for sponsoring this video and the giveaway I did on Twitch as well as providing me with early access to this pack. But without further ado, this is Ty. She's a 23 year old aspiring socialite, gossip blogger, and culture critic. She was born and raised in small town Temmering, and she has always aspired to live the life of the rich and famous. Ty recently moved out and into her first apartment, which just so happens to be in the same building as her family. But she was craving space and independence and decided it was time. The building she lives in is very old, but she worked her coquette magic and convinced the property owner to do some renovating and he agreed. He gave her the landlord special and did a terrible job. Nonetheless, Ty is just very happy to have her own space. She's very materialistic and prioritizes her wants over her needs, so if a new pair of shoes means eating cereal and cannolis for a week, that's what she's going to do. She currently works as a bartender in downtown Tamarang and she runs a personal blog called Thailand. She is also in the process of starting an anonymous gossip blog called Secrets of Tamarang. That's how she plans on getting her start and eventually making a name for herself. If you're ready to get into this tea, leave a pink heart in the comment section and let's get into it. It's 8.30 in the evening and Ty just finished having dinner with her ex-boyfriend Jared and now they're about to have a little nightcap. A couple weeks ago there was a really bad storm that hit Tomering and it destroyed the entire top half of this building where her family lived so right now Ty is the only tenant in the building. She did have to move out for a little while so that they could fix whatever was broken, but she also convinced Jared to furnish the apartment for her. The only thing that Ty is thinking about right now is woohoo. She thinks he's really attractive, but Jared thinks that he's prettier than her and she just doesn't like that about him. She wants a man that is going to make her feel like a woman and not the other way around. Since Ty isn't seeing anyone else right now, she- this is exactly why we avoid inviting you over. Since Ty isn't really seeing anyone else right now, she's kind of just using Jared to get what she wants from him, if you know what I mean. Before the storm happened, Ty did meet global superstar Xander Ford. Hi Xander. Xander Ford spotted out with mysterious lady. She's being photographed with Xander Ford, and it's gonna be in the vlogs tomorrow. Xander is what I would consider to be the Justin Bieber of the save file. They met at the romance festival. Ty started flirting with him, just like all the other girls there, but somehow she managed to work her magic and she ended up taking the jet back to Tomarang with him and he spent the weekend with her. They had a really good weekend until Jared showed up and dropped that giant bomb on Ty. Look, I got this email saying that I need to get married in order for me to get this lump sum of money that my parents wanted me to have. Good for you. What were you saying again? He said I need to get married and the only person I can think of is you. So let's do it. She's like, you're a joke. <laughs> Um, is that what you really came yes, here for? Is. He's like, hear me out. I think me and you would be good, you know? We had our things in the past, but you're my first love. And you're not mine. So let's just drop this and leave it in the past. Last month was what it was, and that's it. Let's just knock it off. I walked you like a dog and sent you on your way. Let's change the station. She's like, have you heard that new Xander Ford single? Are you really seeing that guy? Don't worry about it, Jared. Who I'm seeing is none of your business. Ty does find Jared a little annoying and she does have to have a couple of drinks before they hook up. I don't know how Jared is as a lover, but he must be doing something right. See, this is what I mean, Jared. It should be the other way around. You're so embarrassing. Ty, I hate this for you. I wish Sander would call us and save us from this monstrosity. Anyway, Jared, it's getting really late, so let's just wrap this up. 
Ty has declared romance movies to be her favorite genre. Whenever she watches a romance flick, she's more likely to enjoy the movie. He's like, Ty, yeah, let's wrap this up. I know why I'm here. I know why you called me. So let's just go ahead and get this over with. Yeah, let's, because I don't have all night. This is really sad. I mean, Jared is a really cute guy, but he's also really annoying. And Ty does not like the fact that he thinks that he is prettier than her and he's always complaining about something can we psych ourselves up yeah let's psych ourselves up really quickly before we do this because jared's really annoying he's kind of annoying but he is really cute i guess i can just think of xander right we'll never know oh my goodness he's drunk Oh my god, Ty, no way. Ty, no more drinks for you. They drank the whole bottle. Yeah, Jared, are you okay? He's like, yeah, I'm good. I was just taking a nap. Why were you napping on my floor? Now he's too drunk. I'm over it. We definitely need a receipt. This is exactly why I can't stand him. Jared, get up, please. What are you doing? This is really sad, Ty. The fact that she has to drink in order to fathom her ex is just really crazy. He said he's having a bit of a personal emergency and he has to leave now. Yeah, he's just really drunk. He lives in the neighborhood, so I'm sure he's just going to walk home. He'll be fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and call it a night. So much for that. It's almost 8 o'clock in the morning, but Ty has been craving this Burmese samosa soup, so I guess we'll just make it. She keeps going back to it, so we'll just do it. I guess she's still a little drunk from last night. But as you can see, she and her ex have a very interesting relationship. I can't believe she came into the bathroom to make this soup. Ty, that is not a good look. You have plenty of space out there. Come on. Let's go ahead and release the steam. Hopefully it doesn't burn her. And I think we'll get started on some vlog stuff today. It's good to hear your voice, Ty. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Justin Delgado a little better as a friend. I'm not sure. Honestly, my sister is a married woman and it's none of my business, bro. Huh? It's Xander. Hey Ty, it's me, Xander. I'm in Tamarang for a few days, and I wanted to know if you would like to go out on a date today. She's like, wait, you're in Tamarang? He's like, yeah, I'm here for a few days. I wanted to see you. She's like, yeah, I can um, meet you in a few. Ty had to get a little bit more comfortable, honey. She was walking around in those heels as if this were a pageant. I guess we just got our bills. It says you have 24 hours to pay your rent before it's officially considered overdue. Pay it as soon as possible to avoid any repercussions. Oh? Okay. So this is Ty's childhood best friend. Her name is Venetia. They have a very interesting relationship as well, but she recently called Ty to ask if she should go on a date with someone named Elki, and I guess she's in love, so congrats to you. Let's get into this because our property owner just rang our doorbell and this is Paul, the property owner, who happens to splurge on her every once in a while. Paul also has a secret that Ty is keeping and he pays her off to keep her quiet. I don't know why he's here right now. He and Ty... Okay, why is Ty still hungry? Oh, Ty is really hungover and we're supposed to be going out on a date later. So let's grab some tea. I think we're gonna do, you know what? Let's do the world's finest hot water. That's all we need is some hot water this morning. Oh, it's really hot in here too. Oh my God, no. Okay, let's turn the thermostat cooler because what is going on? Ty is burning to death. Ty is just not in a good mood right now. Ty, you need to get it together. Okay, and Paul, what is going on? Oh, I guess we need to go ahead and pay our rent. 
maybe he can just pay it for us or, you know, cut her a little bit of slack. We're going to act like we spent all this money furnishing our apartment and now we don't have anything left and see if he gives us a little bit of sympathy because Ty only has $1,700 left and she doesn't really like to ask her family for help, you know? She wants them to think that she has it all together. Oh, it's her niece. Shouldn't she be at school? Okay, um, oh my goodness. Okay, her niece is calling her, but we need to handle our business. She's like, look, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make my rent this month, so can you just cut me some slack? He's like, Ty, really? Yeah, really. Don't forget that I'm keeping that secret of yours, and you haven't paid me off for that. Oh? New personality trait. Ty seems to have high expectations lately. Snob or not, bragging and complaining seems to come very naturally. I'll say yes. Well, I'm not done with this conversation. Hold on, my niece is calling me. Okay, I guess she was at school. She's like, I'm thinking that you should probably paint the building. Maybe that way we can get some new tenants in. He's like, Ty, I really don't need your advice. Okay, let's use the restroom because we don't have time for this. Ty is a mess. She's a mess. Paul, please don't come into my house. Look at Paul looking around. He's like, who was this romantic dinner for? He's really not trying to cut her any slack. And now Paul is in his feelings because he's like, who bought all this stuff for her? This is Safira, Benicia's little sister, and she says, Have you ever heard of something called the Motive Trials? Apparently, they take a bunch of Sims and put them in some remote place and let them battle it out, like royally. Do you think you'd want to be a part of something like that? Honestly, no. Leave me alone. I'm not in the mood. I'm really busy right now. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my bills. I don't have time for these childish games. Complain about rental conditions too. Like, I did see a little bit of mold in my bathroom, and you guys said that you fixed everything in here. She's really trying not to pay her rent. And she's really just trying to complain because there's a new pair of shoes that she wants, and she's trying to save up for it. Ty is not. Hey Ty, we'd love to have you join Complimentary Colors. What do you think? You know what? I'd love to. I think Complimentary Colors is an art group and Ty actually does really like art. So we'll say yeah, that would be really cute for her. We can't go right now because we actually have to go on a date soon. She wants to craft a painting right now, but Ty, I don't think that Paul is going to cut us any slack this month, so let's have a deep conversation. It's only $483, Ty. Just pay the man and give him a piece of your mind. That's all we have to do. Let's not... Let's not be like that. You can not buy the shoes that you want for once. Ty's just being a brat. Let her be a brat, okay? We just have to do what we have to do. And you need to get ready for this date. We're so <laughs> Paul, I'm really not in the mood right now. Don't you see me crafting a masterpiece? Next time you come over here, make sure you have my money. He's like, or else what? Or else I'm going to blackmail you. Do you know who I am? He's like, you're Ty. What else is there to know? Paul is getting a little fresh. Paul, no, you need to leave. He's getting a little comfortable, Ty, and I don't like that. Let's go ahead and argue with him. She's trying to get into her zone, and he's over here playing the guitar. Paul, I need you out of my house, please. A painterly calling. Ty is relishing every brushstroke. Should she let the colors flow and embrace that she likes painting? We're going to say yes, especially since she just got accepted into that group. Definitely feel like painting might be in her future. Yeah. It's Xander. He said, I can't stop thinking about you. Let's see each other soon, okay? Zanika? I'm really busy right now, Paul. What is it that you need? You got your money so you can leave. He's like, what's your attitude about, Ty? What is this all about? We were just on good terms the other day. 
This is about you charging me $488 for this dump. My parents had to leave. I'm the only tenant in here right now. He's like, yeah, and I'm losing a lot of money right now because of the storm. That's not my problem, Paul. So don't bring it up to me again. He's like, you really don't get it, do you, Ty? I don't get it, and I don't care to get it, so you can just leave. Get out. Anyway, I'm going on a date, so you need to go. She won the argument. Brush him off and send him on his way. Bye. Paul, well, you can leave. Don't flirt with him. Look at Ty. She's making sure not to burn her bridges. She's about to serenade him. I cannot deal with her. She just wanted to make sure that they were on good terms before she kicked him out. He's like, Ty, look, I really do like you, but I don't know. You're just really crazy. Well, you really need to leave. I have a date to get to. He's really trying to stall her date. This is crazy. And then she's going to go pretend to take a nap. She's like, Paul, I'm going to go take a nap. Have a good day. Meanwhile, Paul is still trying to figure out why she has this romantic setup together. Yeah, just stop while you're ahead. He needs to leave. Paul, you need to leave. Ty, okay, we need to get up. Paul is not leaving, but we really need to get ready for our date. Who is at our door? She's about to update. Oh, she's writing her gossip blog. Ty, we have so much to update the girls on right now, but let's see who's at the door. Dad, I don't have time right now. I literally need to go. Why is Paul helping himself to my food right now? Oh my goodness, it's getting late. Let's tell our dad that he won't leave. Yeah, daddy, he stopped by like an hour ago and now he won't leave. I paid him and everything. He's like, I'll handle this. Now Ty's dad is about to get into the mix. Make him leave, dad. He's like, you need to leave. Dad, I'm in my pajamas. Meanwhile, Ty... <laughs> Look at Ty. She is front and center. She's like, you're out of here. He said, I should really get going now. Thanks, daddy. I've got to get ready to go. I'm going on a date. He's like, with who? Xander? He's like, Xander, the one your dad was telling me about? Yeah, dad. He's in town? Yeah, he is. And I actually really like him. He's like, haven't you only been around him like once? It doesn't matter, daddy. We talk all the time. He's like, whatever happened to Jared? Jared, ew. He's like, I like Jared. Yeah, I know, dad. You and daddy love Jared. He's the golden boy. It's Venetia. She's like, hey, I heard you and Jared are hooking up again. Who told you that? Go ahead and take a speedy shower because we need to go. Dad, here, get some water. Who is she hot daydreaming about? Oh my gosh, she's thinking about Jared. I know he looks good, Ty, but like, no. I'm heading out, Dad. He's like, all right, I'll lock up. Ah. No, Daddy, you need to leave with me. Let's send Xander a text message and let him know we're on our way. Are you going to leave with me or what? He's like, actually, I'll just, I'll leave now. I'll let you know how the date goes. Dad, I'm leaving. Stop it. Where are you guys going? I don't know. He just sent me the location, but I'll let you know how it goes, Dad. I really have to leave. Oh my goodness. It's Nin. Nin Bun Ma. Ty and Nin don't get along because Ty was spreading some rumors about her husband and... 
I don't know why she always shows up at our door as if we're not enemies. Can I help you with something? She's like, where's my husband? I don't know. I told you I don't know where he is. Come on, I really have a date to go on right now. He's gonna think we stood him up. <laughs> no way. Oh my god, you need to get out of here. She's always coming to my house looking for her husband. I told you that your husband and I are no longer a thing. Dad, what are you doing? She's like, he said that you called him like three days ago. She's like, honey, I don't know anything about where your husband is. I told you that he and I are a thing of the past. We went to Zulani once and that was it. It was lame. She's like, my husband's not lame. He's a really good guy. I don't know why he would mess with anyone like you. Well, I don't know why he would mess with anyone like you. Look at that dress. Honey, I don't care about what marital issues you have, okay? I really don't. I'm late for my date. They now despise each other. Now, if you ever come to my house asking for your husband again, I will make it my duty to have him on my roster. Now have a good night. Meanwhile, our dad is catching all the tea. I cannot. I knew this was a waste of time. Yeah, it is a waste of time. Now get out, please. Please don't talk to my dad. He's like, so what's going on here? Why are you accusing my daughter of sleeping with your husband? Oh. Didn't I tell you to leave? Your daughter has been sleeping with my husband and I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. He moved out three weeks ago. I'm alone. Now her dad's pulling strings. He's like, is that true, Ty? No, daddy, it's not true. He's like, you better not embarrass me in this town. Daddy, why would you believe her? She's a joke. Yeah, you are putting on a show right now. Both of you. Ty needs to leave. It's 10 o'clock. Oh my gosh. I need to go. I need to go right now. What are you doing in town? It's been like, what, a month or so? He's like, yeah, but I really wanted to see you. Okay, Ty is putting on a show for paparazzi. She lives for this. I just wish that there weren't any paparazzi here. I thought it was just gonna be us. Let's ask them to leave. Okay, Xander, you're doing a little too much for me. Yeah, let's go ahead and ask them to leave. I did not expect for all these people to be here. Yeah, let them know. You just want to be here. Why is there a toddler here? Where am I? Oh my goodness, someone's grandmother just passed out. Okay, Xander, is there any way that we can, I don't know, go somewhere private? He's like, yeah, I'm sorry about all of this. I really did not think that paparazzi would be here. Let's see if we can find somewhere to sit outside where no one can bother us. Why are Jared and Venetia here doing the absolute most? Oh my goodness, this place is a freak show. This place is ridiculous. Why is there a toddler here? Okay, I really just want to spend some time with Xander, but like, is that even a possibility? I think we got paparazzi to leave, but how do we get everyone else to go? Let's have Jared tell them that he's just trying to have a nice evening alone and that he'll sign autographs later. I appreciate all the support, everybody. Thank you so much. Okay, did he not ask you to leave? We got the fans to go. He's like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no problem. Meanwhile, Ty has no idea that Jared and Venetia are here. Let's have Ty and Xander come inside. We don't even have a bartender. This is crazy. This is so cringe. You're joking. Oh no. Oh my goodness, Ty just started her period. Why is our regular here? His name is Emilio and he frequents the bar that Ty works at. So when are you gonna get out of here? No 
out of this small town, beautiful girl like yourself. You should be out there doing your thing in the big city. I know, I have dreams. I'll be out of this crusty bar one day. I don't know why he's here staring at her right now. I'm kind of annoyed by that. Xander really just wanted to sit and chat with her, but she just started her period and she's also getting really tired. What are you doing here, Emilio? He's like, I don't know, I, I thought there was going to be ladies night tonight. Yeah, no, and there's also no bartender here. Ew. I cannot. Oh my goodness, this is so embarrassing. Look at Jared. She's really annoyed right now. She is ready to go home. Look at her face. Uh, Jared and Xander met the day that Jared stopped by to ask Ty to marry him so that he could get his inheritance. And Xander's just a really cool guy, so he's acting like they're friends. He's like, do you like this song? She's like, yeah, I do. He's like, this is my new single. This one's about you. She's like, wait, what? I can't believe that paparazzi is here right now. And look at Nin trying to get attention. I have a headache. Can we get out of here? Let's go outside. Tai has a headache and there's just too much going on in there. And she has to pee. We need to head out and we can't even do that because paparazzi is all in our face. He keeps farting. She's like, and why are you acting like such a fan, Emilio? You're embarrassing me. Okay, I think it's time for us to go. Jared, I can't handle this right now. She's cramping. Okay, let's go outside, Ty. I know you're not really feeling good right now. And what is Jared doing? He's like, hey, Ty, are you okay? She's just really annoyed right now, and she needs to go home and change. You're welcome to come back if you want. He's like, yeah, I don't mind if it's okay with you. I wouldn't mind that at all. Yeah, let's, let's just go. She's putting on a show for paparazzi now. Ty, I cannot. Yeah, Ty is a mess right now, and we didn't even get to get a drink. There was no bartender. Oh no, he's uncomfortable. What's going on? Morgue leg. He said it's cold in here. Okay, let's turn on the thermostat. Why is he throwing a fit? You're doing a lot, Xander. Now he's in Ty's fridge. He's like, let's see what she's got in here. Okay, I guess we'll do her wine, her cheap wine. Ty isn't really a wine drinker. She's actually a tequila girl. No, she's a vodka girl. And she's really hungry right now, too. I think her clothes are also filthy. Oh my goodness. Let's discuss interests. Let's actually have him get to know Ty a little bit. The last time he was here, they just cosplayed as a couple. And I actually want them to get to know each other a little bit. He is in Tomarang and he made it a point to see her even though the date went terribly but he actually made effort to see her so you know i think he might actually like her they just became good friends too also i need to figure out what is going on with jared i think it said that she figured out a secret of his and i want to see what it is well i definitely thought that we had a sentiment what does she think of xander soulmates okay that's a reach ty is deeply connected he thinks that she's sophisticated deeply connected closer from happy memories she is not feeling well right now so i think we're just going to send him on his way <laughs> what is she doing she's like i'm so sorry i'm just not feeling good right now and i don't know maybe we can just try this again tomorrow so how long are you going to be in town for? He's like, for a few more days, maybe until the weekend. She's like, great, maybe we can just meet up then. Not his criminal career. Oh, I could have sworn I heard someone else in the house. Okay, Xander, I'm exhausted. I, I need to get some rest. I'll call you tomorrow. 
Yeah, you should get some rest. Let's see what's going on. Criminal presence. Could that sim really be a criminal mastermind? What's a sim to do? Dislike sim nearby. I think she was talking about Jared. Oh yeah, and did I mention that Ty was supposed to get married for money? It didn't work out, obviously. She has four hours left to do it, and I don't think we're going to be getting married in four hours, so there's that. What a racket. Ugh, what a loud and uncalled for outburst. Who raised that kind of sim? Seriously. I guess she's complaining about Xander, because he was complaining about how cold it is in here. But he definitely did not have to throw a tantrum. And she's irritated from being on period. Right now is not a good time for any sim to be messing with Ty. The stress that her menstrual cycle can cause just makes the world itself so much more annoying. Any meddling sim better watch out because she's seeing red. Why does Ty look like Sleeping Beauty? If you've made it this far in the episode, leave a pink heart in the comment section. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to see more of Ty, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and let me know what your favorite part of the episode was. I think we'll spend some more time with Xander in the next episode since he's going to be here for a few more days. I would really like to get to the bottom of who this Xander guy is. Does he really like Ty, or is he using her for a short-term fling when he comes to Tomerang? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next episode.